Hey Van Heist, welcome back to week two of our clay unit. Now, last week I saw a lot of really incredible pencil puppets. They turned out so great and I can't wait to see more of them at our Zoom meetings. This week we're gonna be doing something a little bit different. We are going to be creating our very own turtle treasure boxes. For inspiration this week, let's look at the work of ceramic artist named Beth Kavener. Beth Kavener creates these really great animals out of clay. Some are kind of small, some are really big, but they all have really interesting textures and colors. So thinking about Beth Kavener's work and how we can create something animalistic with our own clay, we're gonna try out a fun project that will have you creating your very own turtle treasure box. You wanna know how to do it? Keep watching. Okay, so today we will be using up the rest of our model magic clay. So remember last time we used about half of what was in here for our pencil puppets. Isn't that right, Paulina Penguin? Ooh, that's right. We were made out of the model magic clay. Right, Chadwick? Oh yes, right you are, Paulina. So first thing I'm going to do is get out all of my clay colors. I have my yellow my blue, and the green that I was able to mix using those two. Um, I also have a few things that I'm going to be using as tools today. The first thing I want you to think of is which color do you want to act as the body for your turtle? So to make our turtle's body, what I want for you to do is this. I want you to take whichever color you're going to use and you're going to rip a chunk off of it. Maybe, maybe a little bit less than half of it. So you can kind of squeeze it out like this and you see the halfway point? I'm gonna go a little bit this way and rip, tear a chunk off and I'm gonna set it right there. This chunk gets rolled into a ball. All right, this is a pretty good ball. Now I want to squish it super flat like a pancake and I can do that by squeezing it with my fingers. Okay, now this chunk that we pulled off earlier, I'm gonna try my best to rip this into six pieces. And a good way of doing that is to roll a little coil like this, a little worm, break it in half, pop. And then I'm going to break each of these pieces into three parts. One, two, three. Now you might have some different size pieces. I'm going to grab whichever one I think is my biggest piece. That's going to be my turtle's head. I'm going to put it right up here just for right now. I'm gonna roll each of these into a ball, and then I'm gonna squeeze them out to make my turtle's foot or leg. So I can one by one press these onto my main turtle body. So here we go. Squish, squish, squish. All right, it's time for my turtle head. I'm gonna roll it into a ball, squeeze it up a little bit. I want the neck to be a little bit smaller than the head. Let's see, this head can kind of pop up a little bit. Maybe I can use my pencil to make two little eyes for my turtle. Aw, that's a cute looking little turtle. I used my pencil to make a little turtle smile. Now I'm gonna place that head on just like this. All right, and our turtle's body is just about complete. Now, I know what you're thinking, Mr. Lynch, turtles have shells. Well, that's where our next color is gonna come in. I'm gonna place my turtle body just right here for safekeeping, make sure that all those pieces are attached, and then I'm gonna grab my next color, which I think I want to use blue to create the turtle shell. So, when you take your next color, I want you, just like before, to roll it into a ball as best you can until it's nice and round. Now, to make the turtle's shell, we need to create a shape that's kind of like an upside down bowl or pot. And we're gonna be using a method called pinch pot making. That's when you make a little bowl or a pot just by using your fingers to pinch. So I'm gonna pick a spot on my little blue ball and I'm just gonna squeeze it with my fingers just like that. See how I put a little hole in it with my thumb? Now I'm gonna use my other fingers to pinch 
around that hole. And I can use both hands for this. Pinch, pinch. Do you see how I pinch it and then rotate? Pinch, rotate. I'm gonna keep on doing that and you're gonna notice that your little bowl is gonna start to get bigger and bigger. And I wanna keep pinching it until it fits right over my turtle's body. Almost there. Let's see, does it fit on my turtle? Oh, it does. That looks pretty good. Now, I don't want to keep it there too long because it is going to get stuck and we actually want these two pieces to dry separately. So I'm actually going to set my bowl up, try to make it as round as I can. I'm just going to set it right here because that's where I want it to dry. Now, we've got this last color and this is what we're going to use to create the designs for our turtle's shell. So I'm actually going to move my shell right over here and I think what I'm going to do is roll a coil with my yellow, just like this. And now I'm going to cut this into pieces. Now, I have this knife here. You could use your fingers or you could use something else. I'm going to see what happens when I chop this into little pieces. Wow, I've got a bunch of little tiny yellow chunks here. I'm going to try to flatten one with my finger. Squish. Hmm, I want to form a shape here. Maybe I'll try to make a diamond. And a diamond is kind of like a square because it has four sides, but two of the corners are a little bit pointier. There, look at that. Now, this is gonna be going onto my shell and I'm gonna be making a turtle design, a uh, turtle shell design on this shell. So I'm gonna place it right at the top, bloop, just like that. I can get my fingers under here and sort of squish them together just a little bit, but not too much. I'm gonna try to do that again and make some more designs around this one. Do you see how I'm leaving a little gap in between each piece? That way we can still see the blue shell underneath. I'm gonna try to fill my whole shell with these little yellow diamonds. all of my pieces on the turtle shell. I'm gonna just, with my fingers, go around and squeeze it all together a little bit more. That way there's gonna be a good bond between those two different colors of clay. And they should stick together. Looking pretty good. Let's see if it fits on top of my turtle still. Oh, yep, it sure does. Now, you've probably figured this out by now, but because our turtle body is flat and our pinch pot shell is rounded, that actually gives us the ability to keep something special inside and then hide it. Hmm, wonder what kinds of things you could keep in your treasure box. This might be a good spot to hide some money. Or you could even hide candy. Either way, it's up to you what you store inside of your secret turtle treasure box. But in order to let this dry, I'm gonna take the shell off, make sure it's nice and round and just the way I want it. And I'm gonna put it somewhere safe, just like that to dry, right next to my turtle's body. That's gonna also sit and dry. Now you might have some leftover clay like I did. I still had some yellow left. So it's up to you what you do with this clay. Maybe you could create something secret that goes inside of your turtle's treasure box. Ooh, I know. I'm gonna make some gold coins. That's what I'm gonna store inside of my turtle treasure box. So thanks so much for watching Van Heis. I can't wait to see how your turtle treasure boxes turn out. Uh, make sure to post a video and remember when these both dry out your pinch pot shell and your turtle, then it will be safe to put them together just like this. 
but for right now, while they are drying, it's a good idea to keep them separate. That way they won't stick together. Have a great week and thanks for watching.